three months ago, Lens Graphics recreated Clash of Clans in an RTX engine. He created Town Hall 2. We're gonna take a look at what he made there. And then we need to look at his newest video because he just made a new Clash of Clans video and it might be even better than this one. So this is absolutely insane. We need to help blow this guy's channel up here. He's already reached 78,000 subscribers because he recreates a lot of different games here in the RTX engine, not just Clash of Clans. This is very, very cool stuff here. But we need to go look at his most current video and I'll put a link for his channel in the video description and in the pinned comment here. But let's take a look at what he's done in, I guess, Town Hall 14 by the looks of it here. He says, uh, Clash of Clans, Town Halls, but RTX is on. Okay, let's take a look and see what he's done here. In this video, I made every single Clash of Clans Town Hall realistic. Last time I made a Clash of Clans animation, you guys went kind of crazy. It even got featured on the <laughs> official Supercell pages. Thank you guys so much for the support. And there were so many comments from people he deserves it too. He did amazing, amazing work here. Very creative and very unique as well. well. That wanted me to create another animation. So yeah, why not? This is how I made every single Clash of Clans Town Hall realistic. And I only had five days to do it. Five days. All right. Every time I begin a new project, I start by gathering reference material. Having good reference images is crucial in order to avoid mistakes. Hey, whoa, 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 back it up, back it up. Whoa, whoa, who's this guy? Who's this guy? <laughs> hey, you guys recognize him? I mean, we reacted to his last video too, so. <laughs> I love it. What is this gold? Square coins? Blasphemy. That's not it. That's builder base gold. You messed up. You messed up. Everything. And all credibility lost. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's gained all credibility back here. This looks insane. That won't happen again. I used Pure <laughs> to create a reference board and then I jumped into my 3D software of choice, Blender. First, I imported a human model to help me with the scale of the scene. Town Hall 1 is really simple. That, that human model is barbaric himself. You, you could tell because he doesn't have any hair. I just used a few cubes and a mirror modifier to model the frame of the building. Then I made the walls, the window, the door frame and the roof. Town Hall 2 is basically the same model. I just had to make a new roof. Town Hall 3 has a second roof okay. on That's top simple. of the roof. The next one has well, yet another I can never roof. Do it. Town Hall 5 and 6 look identical to me. And number seven has a small... Yeah, there isn't really a lot of difference between a lot of the low town hall levels. Like up to seven and even eight. Like, you got an easy, easy path ahead. You just got to add a couple little things to each of them. Whole tower. I'm, no. I'm kind of curious to see how he did the ones above that, like 9 and above. For 8 has a bigger tower, and Town Hall number 9 has a small tower hanging from a big tower. All right, I think you get it. I added some more details and made a flag using geometry nodes. Very cool. All in one day? Not bad, not bad. On day 2, I modeled Town Hall 10 and 11. I'd love to talk about all the details, but that would take hours. Just to give you a sense of time, That's Town Hall 11 it base right there. 17 yep. hours to get to this point. But I still had the four most difficult buildings ahead of me. Dude, this guy puts in so much work. Not only does he create this, but that he's need to record it all. He's got to go through all the videos. Like, that is so much work here. We need to show this guy some love, guys. Like, drop us up to his channel. Like, he makes some cool stuff. So I modeled Town Hall 12, which took longer than I expected because I couldn't reuse as many parts as before. True. Then number 13 and 14. I'd say Town Hall 14 is my favorite one. Well, not yet, but the realistic water turned out so beautiful. And then finally, okay, I, I made Town Hall 15. I'm not going to show you yet. I mean, I don't want to spoil the result for you. Okay, fair enough. I want to see it. On day three, I applied all the 120 individual materials and I UV unwrapped. And once again, all the colors for the Town Hall 2 through 8 are the same, so you can just power through those. But you got to get into unique colors and textures for the higher ones because they... Oh, look at the look at the lava. Look at the lava right there. <laughs> He's got actual lit up lava. That's cool. UV unwrapping means telling the computer how to project a 2D texture onto a 3D model. Speaking of textures, let's make the textures. For texturing, I usually use Substance Painter. It's probably the most satisfying software there is. That's I cool. imported the models and started I wish texturing. I could do something like this. The materials from the library never really look how I want them to, so I always adjust them. Mixing two or more different materials is often the best way to get what you want. Well, and then I just applied Very materials cool. to all of the textures 
I, I'm pretty sure he's got a Patreon as well where he does a lot of tutorials and stuff like that. So when you go check out his uh, channel there, then uh, if you're interested, go check out his Patreon as well and show some love there. The first eight buildings are mostly made from stone and wood. Town Hall 9 and 10 start getting a little bit more interesting. I used a dirt brush to paint some weathering. The texture cool. process is always super satisfying and rewarding because everything starts to look nice really quickly. Ooh, gotta get the color scheme right, right? <laughs> Very important. Back in Blender, I applied all the 400 textures to the buildings. That's four textures per material, because you not only need a color map, but also a roughness, bump, and sometimes a metallic map. For the electricity ring on Town Hall 12, I used- Hold on, I never noticed that skull. Is that on the Town Hall 9? That's kind of cool, right? I, I honestly never even noticed that was there. That's really cool. Attention to detail, right? Bump and sometimes a metallic map. For the electricity ring on Town Hall 12, I used a displace modifier on a donut and gave oh, it a glowing that's material. Cool. Now I still had to make a whole environment and an animation with less than two days left. So I added a ground plane into the scene and gave it a dirt material and grew some grass. I, I, I wonder if you can mix them all together like you did in the Town Hall 2 and uh, put them all in the same map. Like eventually he'd create enough assets to build a whole entire village, right? Like you get walls and everything done too. Like imagine, imagine. Uh, obviously that wouldn't actually work on a on a phone. So obviously this would never actually come to the game. We kind of kill the vibe of the game in general, but anyways. I had to keep the grass amount low to avoid lag, but it'll look way denser in the render. I used a 360 high dynamic range image to get the most realistic lighting. And I rotated it so you don't see people standing in the background. Then I planted yeah. some trees in the distance, just like <laughs> in the game. That's funny. Okay. On Wrap day 5 I made the camera animation, planted a few bushes and optimized the scene as much as possible. Still, the render took 72 hours. Yeah, 72 hours? No, 103 so hours to render it? Guys, that is insane. That's a long time to keep your, uh... Yeah, obviously that's why it could never run in the game, right? <laughs> that's insane, As but it's very cool. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Enjoy the animation. There we go. Panel 1. Very simple. Town Hall 2. Love it. Very similar. Town Hall 3. Starting to ramp up that roof a little bit there. Roof is going to keep on getting bigger and bigger here. Town Hall 4. Okay. Ah, I never really thought about the extra concrete layer in the middle there. On these Town Hall 4 and 5. Because you always see it from above, right? I guess it's there, right? Town Hall 6. Very cool. I like the vines climbing up the walls there. The vines are really, really cool. I like that touch. Is that in the actual game? Are the vines in the game? I don't know. Town 8. Definitely looking cool. Full stone tower now. Oh, Town Hall 9 looks awesome. I like the chains. Crystals. Oh, oh, oh. oh I love it. Town 10 looks awesome with the lava. Alright, I, I, I wish the Town Hall 11 had the lava and stuff like that, but... Like how we made everything shiny. Oh, that's beautiful. That is pretty right there. Uh, the little lightning ring up top. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. That's incredible right there. Now, the lighting makes the color scheme feel a little tiny bit off there, I think. But, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Insane! I love the colors, the shiny, the even the even the water is shining on that one there. That looks absolutely epic. That's incredible, guys. That is absolutely incredible. This guy has outdone himself there. I thought the Town 2 stuff was cool, but that definitely takes the cake All right, there. Guys, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to download the town hall models, you should definitely join the Patreon. And I'll there you go. There you go, guys. Show him some love. Help this channel blow up even more. It's already blown up like crazy. He keeps putting out good work. Show him all the love we can give him. And let's see if we can get him over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching.